Welcome back. This is part 5 of the Construct 2 tutorial to create a breakout clone. Alright, we just finished the through ball effect. Now we want to add a nice addition to the explosion effect. In addition to just destroying one brick, we'd like it to destroy all the surrounding bricks when the fireball power-up is active on the ball. So, here's what we'll do. We're going to add a special new object. It's going to be a sprite. It's just kind of a helper sprite. I'm going to add an image. It's going to be a little square. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. But what does matter is the size. Now, these tiles are 44 by 22, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, say maybe 50 by 30. And I'm also going to change this to invisible. And it's just going to help me figure out where the overlap is. So, for instance, if I were to say hit this brick right here, I'll position this helper sprite on top of it, and anything this sprite overlaps will also be destroyed in an explosion. All right, so here we go. Now I'll rename this to um, Overlap Checker. All right, so if the fire animation is playing, here's what I'd like to do. In addition to doing all of these things, before the brick is destroyed, I'd like to add another action. I'm going to set the position to the position of the brick. And I'll move that up so it happens before it's destroyed. So, when this happens, this is going to move to the position of the brick. I also want to add a sub-event as well. What I need to do is system. I need to allow all the bricks to be selected again. This is a little bit confusing, but basically right here, when you collide with a brick, there's only one brick which is under consideration. I want to be able to consider all bricks again, so I add this system event. Okay, so I'm going to choose all bricks, and from those bricks, I'm going to say, add another condition, brick is overlapping the overlap checker. In that case, I'd like to do all these things again. Well, not all of them. I don't want to overlap again, that would destroy everything. Which could be cool, but not helpful. Alright, let's check this out. As I said before, the cheat code for Fireball is 4. And notice now, when it hits something, it destroys all the bricks which are connected to it. That, my friends, is an awesome power-up. Alright, let's go back to our project. Now let's start to get ready for the paddle effects as well. We do the same thing before. Edit animations. I'm going to add a few new animations. All right. In each animation, I'm going to open a new image. I've got a bunch of images stored already. Add a small paddle image. Next one, I'm going to add a large paddle image. And two of my favorite effects. I'm going to add a laser paddle image. It's just a red paddle. And I'm going to add a beam paddle image. The blue paddle is going to shoot a super powerful beam. All right, I should rename these. Uh, let's see. Normal. Small. Large. laser, and beam. Alright, I need to add some lasers and some beams next. Let's see, right click, insert some new objects. Sprite. Image. Let's see, a red laser. I'm gonna rotate that. Move that out of the way for now. And one more laser. Insert new object. Sprite. Open blue laser. And I'll rotate that also. Alright. Red lasers are going to be a little bit smaller. Blue lasers are going to be nice and big. I'll make the size eh, maybe 22. Alright, we'll set them up in the next part of the tutorial.